Sometimes I don't think it gets the respect, especially from the ladies. They always get the same reaction. They're always like, you're cute. You're so cute. You're so and how old are you? Put me down, lady. It's not my fault, though. I get it from my dad. My dad's a little man. I knew it growing up, because you know, in the playground, you say to another kid, I bet you my daddy can whoop your dad. I never said that stuff. <laughs> my dad would get whooped. I'll bring my mom to a fight before I bring my dad. Dang. She's crappy. <laughs> what I do get from my mom is I'm hairy. Damn. Oh my God. <laughs> my dad's completely hairless. My mom's a little hairy woman. I think George Lucas made her. She could have been an Ewok. E oh, I'm getting hairier as I get older. I know I'm getting hairier because I was shaving a day, and now I'm starting to shave all the way up here. Dang. Like really, am I shaving my eyelids now? Like, if I can keep all this trim, I'll probably look like a baby Sasquatch. <laughs> Show up on Bigfoot Hunters, people will be throwing beef jerkies, taking pictures of me. Okay. Also, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> some people don't know about Puerto Rican, some of my friends don't. One of my friends is like, hey, Rick, you speak Puerto Rican? <laughs> like, you speak United States of America, do you, jerk? <laughs> some people don't know about the island either. One guy asked me, you guys got movie theaters in Puerto Rico? No, we do everything with puppy shows. <laughs> Every three hours, everybody's filmed, their hands are all messed up. Dang. I would like to thank you guys for having me, and I'd like to thank you guys for staying off your phone this long. I know it's hard. <laughs> These phones are fun. You get on the internet, record a video. I still think they can put more things on it, too. Like, I think they can put a taser. I think that would help people out a lot, you know, but I don't know, people use their phone a lot, they try to put, I mean, just taste the crap out of themselves all the time, accidentally, <laughs> hit the wrong app, getting in the car, like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Girls will start tasting guys unnecessarily just for hitting on them, they don't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> they talk about, hey girl, where are you going to be at later? Some guy comes up, what's up baby, looking good, hold on. <laughs> No, and some idiot was hitting on me. No, he's on the floor here twitching. Oh, he got some ugly shoes on too. Hold on, girl. One thing I don't like about the phones is the pictures. Because back in the day, everybody kept their pictures at home mm. in a photo album. Right. That way when they threaten you, like, you want to see our vacation pictures? You're always like, hell yeah, because you know you never had to see the pictures. <laughs> now you got to see them. And there's thousands of them, and they don't even wait for you to say yes. They start force feeding your eyes, like, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. Mm -hmm. And even if they were special, it's like TGI Fridays or Chili's. <laughs> I know another big problem right now is texting and driving. You guys text and drive? Yep. No, no. <laughs> like a lot of people are like, no. Some people are like, yeah, oh, it's supposed to be no. <laughs> How come it always feels safer when you do it? <laughs> No, I got this. This is real quick. You're like, tch, tch. <laughs> then you look up at the back of a semi or you hit those road bumps like, like, oh crap, that LOL almost killed me. <laughs> then you go right back to it. <laughs> you can tell how dangerous when you watch somebody do it. Like I was driving with my friend cross country. He's in the driver's side. I'm in the passenger side. He got the phone. He got to flip out and use both hands. Right? Oh. So the whole time he's like, tch, 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 tch. and he's driving stick. Right? Oh, so he's like, ding, 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 he's smoking a cigarette, right? So he's like, ding, 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 I don't know when he's looking out this windshield, right? He looks over me, I'm pale white because I'm scared. He's like, Rick, what's the matter? You look worried about something. I go, I am, my life. This is what he tells me, he goes, I haven't died yet. Nobody dies until you die, you moron. You can't use that as an excuse, you should only get one shot at it. <laughs> this is what he tells me next, he goes, no, but I'm good at this. Where'd you learn to be good at this? Where'd you learn to drive a 75 mile, 6,000 pound projectile down the road or answer random pop quizzes about yourself? Where'd you learn to do that, NASA? <laughs> you gonna tell me you could've been an astronaut this whole time and you work at Chipotle for fun? <laughs> I know we can text and drive and do whatever we want. We just gotta change up the cars. Go really electric, change all the vehicles into bumper cars. It'll be a little expensive to put up all that fence in, but once you get it in there, it'll be a safer highway. Plus there won't be no road rage, there'll be road rage release. 
You get that guy going too slow in front of you, you get one of these. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> move over. You get that little rich girl in her BMW bumper car, by the cut in your lane, you just knock her in the ditch. <laughs> Not today, princess. I don't think so. You get the guys in the red jackets put her back on the track. <laughs> DUIs would be a thing of the past. Like, what'd you do last night? Oh, I got wasted and bumped my way home. It was awesome. <laughs> Another glorious night. So it's 2017. Ooh, this time is flying by. I thought we'd have flying cars by now. It sounds so futuristic. But then again, we can handle four-way stop signs. I don't think we need flying cars. <laughs> Every year I look at my life, you know, see where I'm at. You know, I don't do resolutions, but I see how far along I come. I look at my friends. You ever look at your friends and realize you're surrounded by idiots? <laughs> look around if you need to. It's dark. They won't see you. <laughs> but you go, if they're all idiots, what the hell does that make me? Am I king of the idiots? Does that help? <laughs> like, I know my friends are stupid because I was around two of them the other day, and they were arguing about how to make the transformer changing noise. <laughs> they were serious, too. One of them's like, no, it's... And I was like, no, it's e oh, oh, oh. I'm like, both of you, shut the hell up. <laughs> Give me your phone, delete my number, and don't call me. Because no we all know it's oh, oh. <laughs> My friends are dumb. They'll see a fine girl on TV like Selena Gomez. They'll look at her and go, man, I have sex with her. Mm. I have to go, really? Would you do her that favor? You smell like Cheetos, dude. <laughs> All day long, you're not even snacking. Investigate that. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Asia. <laughs> oh. I'll leave you guys with this. I know some of you might be in relationships now, you know, or maybe coming in or out of them. You know, relationships are tough. You know, it's hard, you know, because I think it's hard because everybody expects it to be like a movie or romance novel. You know, do you think you're going to wake up with your lover and look at them in the eyes like, baby, I love you. <laughs> and she's gonna be like, no, I love you. <laughs> it's not like that, right? Sometimes you wake up, you look at each other and go, you know what? Screw you. <laughs> Sometimes you hate each other for no damn reason. They're just breathing and it's really bothering you. You're like, why are you taking up all my oxygen? I feel stuffy in here. <laughs> Sometimes they're running up steps, you hope to God they trip on the last one, bust their ass on the top. <laughs> You have to stifle back laughter as they come tumbling down the stairs. Like, boom, boom, boom. You're right. You're not bleeding. You're okay. Yeah, it's hard being together because everybody's different. You know, everybody's raised. You know, you could be raised in the same town and the same street, but you're different. It's little things people do that piss you off. People got habits. You know, like somebody might just squeeze toothpaste in a way that jacks your whole day up. <laughs> you wake up mad every morning, look at that tube of toothpaste, like what kind of animal? <laughs> squeeze it from the middle, right? <laughs> right? What are you, a monkey or something? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys, that's my time. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.